guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And a question that's starting to make the rounds now is, are there too many YouTubers? Recently it's come up via a video from the immortal John Hancock, and since that video got posted, I've had numerous people hit me up on my thoughts about what he said in that video. And I find myself in a very precarious and unique position to be answering this question, and it's a very delicate thing to be doing because I don't want to say anything bad about John Hancock. He strikes me as a very good human being. But some of the things that he says in that video are just flat out wrong. And while you're allowed to have your opinion, it doesn't necessarily mean you're right. Do I feel like there are too many YouTubers on YouTube? No. In fact... Saying anything outside of the word no is ignorant, it's flippant, it's, it's showing that you're not putting a lot of thought into what's going on behind the scenes in everybody's daily lives with their YouTube channels. Every single person is unique, every single person has a voice, every single person has the ability to upload videos and do what they want with their channel. That is one of the most amazing things about YouTube and as much as I rail on YouTube, it still stands as one of the best things that any platform can offer you on the internet. So do I feel like that's a problem? Well, I'll put it this way, while the video was being published, I was actually running a live stream of how to improve your channel, how to make better videos, how to focus your criteria to the end user so that they understand the point you're trying to get across in a very succinct manner and they enjoy the way you do it. Something that you present to the table that no other channels are doing and you do it in a unique way that finds it so entertaining that they have to click subscribe and they have to come back to you. And while I would agree that YouTube right now, especially the gaming community, is a very crowded place if you're looking to become successful, that by no means tells you that you can't start a YouTube channel. I feel like the message that John was trying to get across to the viewer came off a bit as complaining and that might be because he had so much to say that he didn't really focus the argument into a specific area. In fact, after I've watched this video a couple times, it's clear to me that what he probably, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but what he probably was trying to get across is there are too many people on YouTube thinking that they can be successful. And that is a clear point that I would definitely agree with if that's what he was trying to get at. I've spoken to so many channels, so many small channels under a thousand subscribers, tons of channels under a hundred subscribers that are missing a lot of vital information on how to make a video properly in order to grow. And oftentimes I'll give information to a lot of these channels and they won't do anything with it and I'll see them again and I'll see the same mistakes being made and I'll realize that's exactly why they aren't growing. The intro is way too long. Uh, I know what you're trying to get across but you're not a gigantic popular channel and if you're looking to grow you're gonna lose your audience within the first 30 seconds if they, you, they don't see your mug and they don't hear you talking. If you guys don't notice a trend I'm always saying get to the point as fast as possible. That's the one thing that I noticed with everyone that I view is you take forever to get to what the video title is. Being a YouTuber that helps smaller channels get better at their craft and focus their direction and narrative into a specific location and then watching his video discussing if there are too many YouTubers made me think if he didn't have the amount of subscribers that he has right now that video would fall flat on its face because, to be honest, it was kind of embarrassing to watch it. I did not think it was a good quality video whatsoever, and I have higher expectations out of channels with over 50,000 subscribers. And while there's no silver bullet to be successful outside of knowing people and being on their channels and being popular in a group of people that are already successful, but even doing that will take you so far. Eventually, you're gonna need to stand on your own two legs and provide content to the viewers to prove to them why you are worth watching. And if you're unable to do that, you will start losing subscribers and not be successful in the long run. There's really no way to skip the line and get a free lunch with YouTube success. You really need to put the time in, the hours in, find out what your audience is looking for from you and how you can provide something new to them that they haven't seen before. With that being said, make a video the best you possibly can while sitting in front of that camera and in all honesty if I was close friends with John I'd probably hit him up and say dude 
probably want to take that video down and reorganize your thoughts because it kind of comes across the wrong way to a lot of viewers. But I don't know John in that manner. In fact, I only know him from the person he is on that camera with the collection behind him. I've never actually met him in person and don't know really anything about his personal life. But in a way, the video that he made kind of proves my point that anybody can sit in front of a camera and talk to you from it and tell you why they're making a video. There's no reason to take the approach of there are too many YouTubers. Hearing that just kind of sounds like an old man on his porch with a cane yelling at kids going by on a skateboard. That doesn't make any sense to me. Telling people that they're not good enough, telling people that they shouldn't do this because it's too much work, that's not a good idea. You may want to inform people about what's going to happen if they decide to become a YouTuber. You might want to tell them, hey, there's a lot more work that goes into this. You're not going to get as much success right away as you think you will. In fact, you may not ever find success. And that's okay for a lot of people, but saying that there are too many YouTubers is flippant and ignorant, and quite frankly, I'm a little bit surprised that he made that video and published it. Coming from someone who feels like they are a voice for the smaller channels, that is just not something that I'd expect out of a bigger channel. Anyways, that's how I feel about the question of if there are too many YouTubers or not. Absolutely not. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this situation, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Smash and change, 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 change,